Now I think right now, this could be one of the most important hybrid lessons you could have right now, okay? Don't get this wrong. So I've come to the 17th here at Motcham Hall. Now, you'll have a golf hole at your golf club exactly like this, or where you play regularly, where the second shot, no matter how you hit it from the tee, you've got a hybrid left in, and this is just that. You have to understand the difference between fairway and the rough, because if we're honest, we don't always hit the fairway, and how you change what you do with your hybrid to maximize distance and control. Let's start off from that fairway lie, that really nice sat up fairway lie, which we all love. Set up. What I want you to do, club head inside your left heel and be really conscious of this. This is something I really pay attention to is not getting the shoulders too tilted. Anytime we've got a lower lofted club in our hand, it can be really tempting just to get the shoulders set like this. Please don't. And a nice little trick to do that is grab that golf club in your left hand and feel as though you keep your left shoulder low as you put your right hand on. Then just relax into it. In reality, the right will be a little bit low in the left, but don't exaggerate this. Because what I want you to do, I want you to keep this concept as close as you can to an iron and trust the technology in the club is going to do the work for you. So you know, like, it's got a bigger back to it. This allows manufacturers of any sort of club to get the center of gravity lower and further back, popping it up into the air. So when you have got a nice fairway lie like this, club head inside your left heel, shoulders close to level, maybe right, just a little bit lower than left, and that concept of bruising and brushing that ground, let's say two golf balls passed, nice and simple, two golf balls pass as you're trying to bruise and brush that ground. That's going to allow you to strike a little bit down on it. Oh. And then you can see them sail towards the green, just like that. God, it's a really long way this, that's just short. What a hit though. Okay, now, as I said right at the start, we've got to be honest, haven't we? We don't always find that short stuff. And these clubs are influential. You get these right, you're scoring, Boom, goes so much better. So make this little tweak when going from the fairway to the rough to maximize your control and distance with your hybrid. So first things first, the lie, right? Have a look at the screen. We've got three lies on the screen, as you can see, three photos. We've got really bad, what I kind of class as a medium, and then a pretty good lie in the rough. The worse that lie gets, the more lofted hybrid I would recommend using. Essentially, the worse the lie, the more loft I would definitely recommend. So, let's for example, you have a two, three, four, and five hybrid, go more towards a five, and uh, away from the two and the three hybrid, the worse uh, the lie becomes. Okay, so, as we said before, a nice reminder was that ball position goes a club head inside your left heel when you've got a really nice lie on the fairway. The little tweak I want you to make is move that ball position a ball further back. The idea behind this is you're gonna be able to strike more down and sort of get into that ball rather than brush through that grass. And that's really important. If you're brushing through that grass, you might get more grass stuck in between. It might knock it off course. You're gonna have a lot more that's gonna get in the way of your strike with your club face and the ball. So I move it a half a ball further back than I already had and just see that subtle thing here, nice and close up. It's, it's only a little tweak, but makes the world a difference. Next up, I'm gonna grip slightly down. So if I gripped right at the end, as you can see here, I'm gonna grip a little bit further down. This is gonna allow me to have more control and when we're in the rough, the lie's a little bit out of control, we want that. And same thing again here, I want to feel as though I'm bruising that ground and brushing and hitting down on that ground for the same idea. The two to three golf balls passed, not trying to lift it in the air. It's even more tempting in lies like this to try and lift it, but you've got to really, really stay away from that. I told you it's gonna be the best hybrid lesson you could ever have. Little tweaks make a massive difference depending on the lie. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. 